know, I mentioned that Five Below is up 12%, which means it's lagging. The s and is up 17%, you know. So uh, far from this already being priced in, it sounds like they could use a little bit of a catalyst. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree with you. Uh, a, a five's been up nicely this year, but like you mentioned, a little behind the broader market. And and look, I, I think this Barbie release could be a nice near-term positive. Uh, th like you said, the movie was initially projecting for this 50 to $60 million opening weekend. Now that's pushing closer towards $100 million. I, I think if we get into that that sort of level, you, you typically see you know, a nice pop in five bull shares in the yeah. You had mentioned that actually the, this is not an accident. They've had a strategy of buying IP for a lot of these movies. They've had other examples. Super Mario Brothers, I think, was one of them. Um, so this is a is it worth I, I have to imagine it doesn't come cheap sometimes to score these rights. Yeah. So, so five below, they've got this great growth trajectory here. Right. So fourteen hundred stores right now on their way to thirty five hundred. So they're they're in, in they're basically their su suppliers have have allocated them a lot of great product. They, they give them nice margins around it, and they want to be part of this growth trajectory, right? This has many, many years to come. The, the company is only about 40% towards their long-term growth target. So you've got these suppliers investing in five and getting them great product in the process. Yeah, you also mentioned, you know, Barbie aside, whatever people think of the movie or whether, you know, this trend is overblown, they've got, you know, exclusive product from social media influencers. They've got, you know, prime hydration drink backed by Logan Paul, Bluetooth speakers priced at 20 to $25. So let me go back. And, and five below fines is a huge hashtag on TikTok. So why is the stock not you know, I don't know. It could be off to the races right now. What's the valuation look like? Yeah, so I'd say over the last few months, five tends to get lumped in with these dollar stores, like a Dollar General, but those type of names. And to me, when you peel back, there's definitely a different customer base here, a more call it affluent customer base. And Five Below is really a store of wants versus a store of needs. So I think they got caught up in that trade. But as you think about this this growth algorithm they've got here, you know, the, the stock doesn't screen all that cheap. You're talking about 30 times earnings or higher. But if I look at some of the other names that are sort of these growthier consumer names on my coverage, but you know, think, think of names like Ulta Beauty, I, I do cover Tractor Supply, Floor and Decor. If you look at their price to earnings multiple in relation to their, their growth, this, this peg ratio, those names trade at two times or, or north of that. If you look at five below here, I, I think it's about 1.4 times at last check. So as you dive more into that and just look at where this company can go over time, if that multiple does catch up. You know, I think we could t potentially talk about more of a $300 stock than a $200 one today. Wow, and that's exactly where it's sitting today is 200 So finally, Super Mario, that was almost $150 million opening weekend. Um, but I believe it might have had maybe a PG rating. This movie's not necessarily a kid's movie, as you point out. And we did have a little bit of a disappointment with that Mission Impossible opening last weekend. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with you on both of those. The Mario movie sort of came out of nowhere. And I, I think Five Below will tell you that you know, they were a bit surprised by that. And based on my checks, you know, that there's a lot of Barbie merchandising in the stores today. I feel like they're leaning into this release a little harder. So you might see a nice fundamental bounce here in the numbers over the next few months as you know, this potentially attracts a new customer. Five Below is sort of this you know, home sense for kids, right? You, you never know what you're going to find. There's a great uh, discovery feel to it, sort of that treasure hunt, and it keeps customers coming back and, and spending for, for years to come. Yeah, no, we have certainly been among them. David, thanks for your time today. Appreciate it. Thank you.